What is up guys, Toss a coin here, and today I will be looking at Frostner and judging if it is OP or not. I will be considering its combat effectiveness and how easy it is to get. But before we get into this video, if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe to get this content out to as many people that could use it. All right, now let's get into it. Frostner is an extremely popular weapon that you can attain in the silver tier. It is a strong choice for several reasons. It is a mace, it has a crowd control effect, and has damage types that are effective against most mobs. A strong reason to consider Frostner is because you can acquire it after a short time in the swamp. All you need is a frost resistance mead and you can start searching for the silver you need in the mountains. It might require some luck, but just run around swinging a stag breaker or some other sledge and that should let you know if you have silver under your feet or not. The other requirement to make Frostner is to make sure you have found the trader, but hopefully you'll have found them by now. Frostner will require a little bit of effort to acquire this early, but the power boost it gives in the swamp cannot be matched by anything else at this point in the game. Since Frostner is a mace, it comes with a few advantages of the weapon class. Number one being that you can have a pretty high club skill by the time you acquire it, which means you will be more effective with it versus other weapons. Another advantage of clubs is the blunt damage type, the ghost, troll, abomination, wraith, bat, lock, seeker, seeker soldier, and seeker brood, are the enemies that resist the blunt damage of the mace. That may seem like a lot of mobs, but blunt damage has the least amount of enemies that resist the damage type, and the most amount of enemies weak to that damage type out of pierce, slash, and blunt. Maces also make for very balanced setups because you most likely will already be carrying a bow and axe, which will cover your pierce and slash damage. Another damage type Frostner packs is frost damage. The only other sources of frost damage in the game are Mistwalker, the Ice Magic Staff, and the Frost Arrows. This helps round out Frostner because many of the mobs that resisted the blunt damage do not resist the frost damage. The Growth, Locked, Rancid Remains, Root, and Skeleton resist the frost damage, and the Abomination, Bat, Drake, Modder, the Stone Golem, and the Wraith are immune to frost damage. The last damage type that Frostner packs is the Silver Damage type, and that affects all of the undead mobs including the Fenrings. I would also like to mention that this works as a damage over time effect. What all of this means to you is that Frostner is only a bad matchup into the Abomination, Locks, Stone Golem, and Modder. It does great against just about everything else. Because Frostner does frost damage, it has a crowd control effect. Anything that you hit with Frostner is slowed for a few seconds by a good amount due to the frost damage. The other weapons that inflict frost damage have this same effect. This reason alone adds a ton of utility to Frostner and adds a good amount of survivability. Situations where you would be overwhelmed and swarmed by large amounts of mobs or fast mobs are now made manageable by the CC you can apply. For this reason alone, Frostner is probably one of the best weapons for any solo player because of all of the CC you can apply. As far as bosses go, Frostner destroys Bone Mass and Yaglith, but struggles with Modder and does decent against the Queen. So if you are curious about how the damage typing would work out on that, then there you go. As mentioned earlier, you can acquire Frostner as soon as the Swamp. I'm bringing this back up because Frostner can actually be used effectively all the way to the Mistlands. That's right. Frostner, an item you gain in the swamp, is still effective in the Mistlands. This can be attributed to its damage typing and the CC it provides. Honestly, I should be able to label Frostner OP for this reason alone. Frostner performs better in the Mistlands than some of the weapons you acquire in that biome. The reason for this is that the majority of Frostner's damage is Frost, which the mobs in the Mistlands do not resist. Eventually, you can switch over to a Mistwalker, which does have better stats, but if your mace level is high enough, you would be just fine sticking to your Frostner. Lastly, the Ashlands will be our next biome, and based upon what the mobs look like, I think everyone should be dusting off their Frostner, because it looks like the kind of biome that Frostner will excel in. Personally, I think Frostner definitely qualifies as overpowered. It has very few matchups where it is a bad choice, you can acquire it as soon as the swamp if you do a little extra work, and it is a viable choice even in the Mistlands. Let me know what you guys think. Is Frostner OP? And leave a comment if you have anything you would like me to try out. And as always guys, see you next time.